personally, they canceled a couple classes. Uh, you know, they closed down a couple roads. But other than that, you know, I walked to, walked to campus. Nothing really that I, you know, except for the entire experience with all these protest groups. But otherwise, it's just another day in life. You know, I'm going to classes. I'm doing, get my work done. Everything else, you know. It's, I've missed classes, like, but I'm not too upset about that. <laughs> um, most of my classes are canceled. Um, other than that, just I got grabbed by one of those guys over there. I don't know who they are, but um, other than that, not too much. That's how it affects me personally, but the bu just the buses. Yeah. But I'm gonna go downtown right now uh, to be a part of the action, not to protest, not to do anything, but just, I'd rather be there than see it on TV. Right. Um, need to go to the airport tomorrow, so that's gonna be tough, but I mean, hopefully there'll be things going on. We'll see. Yeah. You know, classes are shut down and, you know, roads are blocked. We can't, like, totally get into the library and different things. So we're kind of, like, on edge, but... Yeah. But it's good, you know, that's life. It also seems like there aren't very many ways for, like, normal people to kind of, I don't know, get involved or, like, interact. You know, I just wish there was more, like, public things for us yeah. to do, though maybe that would get dangerous. I don't know. Um, well, we live, you know, basically Arsenal Park is our backyard where the, um, where the protest was taking place. So, um, you know, I pretty much shut down my life today and we both took um, vacation days. Or he's working from home and I took some vacation days because I know I wouldn't be able to go to work. And um, on a personal level, that's about it. As far as transportation, getting to and from work, that's about it. That I know of. <laughs>